Consult a physician before starting this or any exercise program. Melikalikimaka. That means Merry Christmas in Hawaiian. Well, Merry, Merry Christmas, everybody. And I know we have viewers all over the world in 100 countries. So wherever you are, I'm wishing you lots of love, good health, energy, and success. Now, it's a little chilly out here today. And I'm not complaining because I get emails from everybody saying it's 10 degrees below zero. It's snowing. It's raining. So it's just a little colder than I'm used to. Um, got my, my beanie on, keeping my head warm. Today I've got a very special Christmas workout for you today. We've got all brand new exercises. And remember, every single week, starting today, I'm going to bring to you a brand new workout that you can do right at home along with me. Studies have shown that as little as 15 minutes per day greatly improves your health. So right now I'm going to demonstrate each of the four exercises and show you how to do them and then we'll do the entire interval workout. Oh, and I almost forgot to tell you, after every workout I'm going to share a little secret tip that I have with you. So be sure and stay tuned after the workout for my secret tip. The first exercise are using the cardio speed balls and we're going to be doing high knee running. Start the ball spinning, get those knees up, shoulders back, core tight. The next exercise is called a squat with a figure eight. In this exercise, you use a hand weight such as this dumbbell or you can use a weighted object or you can use one of my soft touch medicine balls that are for sale at shop.kiana.com. Basically, you want to stand with your feet slightly wider than shoulder width, shoulders back and down, core tight, squat down until your upper leg or thighs are parallel to the floor. Keeping the core tight, you pass the dumbbell around each leg in a figure eight. The next exercise we're going to do is a front plane shoulder exercise. What you want to do is start with the weight at shoulder level, palm facing forward. Keep your body in proper alignment, shoulders back and down, tummies tight. Push that weight up, pointing the opposite leg out. Keep that weight in the same plane as your body. Then of course we'll do the other side. You can really feel this throughout your core and in your midsection as you stabilize your body and counteract the weight and the opposite leg. The next exercise is a push-up with the rotation. This is fantastic for your upper body and especially your core. This is how you do it. Get in a push-up position, do a push-up, come up, rotate. Push-up, other side. Push-up, rotate. Really open up that chest. <sighs> to regress this exercise or make it a little bit easier, you can do it on your knees like this <sighs> with a little bit less rotation. <sighs> and to take it down even further, you can be lying on your legs and doing a simple extension. <sighs> Interval workouts are very intense, so I recommend doing them no more than three times per week. Three key things with interval training. Use proper form at all times. And you always want to regulate your breathing. And if it gets too difficult, regress the exercise or take it down a level and do an easier version. Just keep moving. And as always, consult a physician before starting this or any exercise program. Set your interval timers for 12 rounds of 45 and 15 seconds. Remember to keep those shoulders back. Proper body alignment. Keep that tummy tight. Bring those knees up as high as you can. Keep the elbows tight into the waist. And breathe. Let's really focus. 12 minutes. This year, let's really make the most, the best use of our time. Feels good. Grab your weight. We're going to do our figure eight squat. Catch your breath. Bring that heart rate down. 
Squat down. Keep your core tight. Concentrate. Nice, smooth, fluid motion. Feel this in the legs and the butt, the core. It's a terrific move and it's fun. The thighs are burning right now. Whew. Okay. Keep that body centered. Make sure the weight stays in the same plane as your body. Extend the opposite leg up. really feel this in the core. <sighs> nice push up, rotate. If this is too difficult, you can drop down on your knees. <sighs> Open up that upper body, hold, and back down. Because we're doing one exercise right after the other with minimal rest in between, you're really maximizing the calories burned. This time, go the other direction. Holding your legs in this isolated position is tough. It's a terrific way to strengthen your quadriceps. And for ladies out there, this will really give you firmer thighs. The key thing to remember is to keep your back straight. You don't want your shoulders to hunch forward. Keep your shoulder blades retracted. Other side. It's a beautiful day today. It's clear, but very crisp and cold out. Exhale on the hardest part, which, be, which would be as you press the weight up. You can really feel it burning in the anterior delt or the front area of your shoulder. Whew. Try it with my legs apart this time.
You doing this with me? It's hard. Try to use the same form now as we did the first circuit. Shoulders back, core tight, knees high. Fill your lungs up with nice fresh air. Oh, this is hard. Knees can't get up as high. Nice deep squat. Figure eight. Pass over and under. Over and under. The shifting weight really strengthens the muscles in the legs and the glutes. Oh, burning. Love it. I can really feel this. Oh, oh man. To make it even, since we did the right and the left, now we're just going to do a center shoulder press. Keep those weights in the same plane as your body. Nice wide athletic stance. Exhale as you push the weights up. Okay, I gotta catch my breath. That was a tough workout. Who picks these exercises? <laughs> okay, so here's my secret tip that I told you I'd share with you after the workout. So it's always good to challenge yourself to try new things because not only does it challenge your body physically, but it challenges you mentally. So as of last week, I started taking golf lessons and I'm having so much fun, it's the most exciting and the most frustrating thing I've ever done. <laughs> but I'm traditionally attracted to more aggressive sports like snowboarding, kickboxing, powerlifting, um, things that use a lot of energy and aggressive power. So I thought I would try something new and try a sport that required more mental concentration and finesse. And I'll keep you posted on how I'm doing. I'm starting at the very ground uh, level, um, working on my grip, stance, swing, and I just learned how to do a pitch shot using the sand wedge. I keep wanting to say sandwich, but using the sand wedge. So this year, so this year, I challenge you to try something new and get out of your comfort zone too. Take up a new hobby, a new sport. Just try something that is new for you to challenge yourself mentally and physically. Stay fit. Don't forget, every Sunday night, I will have a brand new home workout that you can do right along with me. So I hope you enjoy the rest of your day. I'm so proud of you for working out with me today, and I'll see you tomorrow.